In this video, we are going to continue with graph of quadratic functions. You will find this on page 245 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Drawing the graph of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, but in this time, a is not bigger than zero, but a is smaller than zero. Okay, can you still remember? We will now have a look. Now, if you look at this example, the variables x and y are connected by the equation. This, do you see the value of a is negative? Some values of x and the corresponding values of y are given in the table. Okay, just one missing. Calculate the value of R. So again, what do I do? I just do substitution and not negative 2, but put 0 in. Okay. And the value of R is 2. Then on a sheet of graph paper, using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 1 unit on the x-axis and 1 cent to represent 1 on the y-axis, draw the graph for this. Okay. Use your graph in B to find the value of y when x is 2.4. I'm just going to move it up. So first, just go and plot each and every point. Make sure you're not leaving a point out. And then take, take 300, not the ruler, draw your curve. Okay. And now you can start with the questions. The value of y when x is 2.4. So go to the x-axis, add 2.4. Okay, where is 2.4? Um, let's just see. When x is 2.4. 2.2, there is 2.4. Okay, and you draw it down, and where it touch, you draw it there, and it will be negative 1.3. And when y is negative 2, so there is y negative 2, do you see? And draw the line with a ruler, and where it touch, where it connects with your graph, graph, draw it up, draw it up, read it down, read it down. So I will get that the value of x will be negative 1.6, this one, and 2.6, this one. And then the coordinate of the maximum point, there is my maximum point. So what will it be? It will be the x value and the y value. So just write it down. This is the x value first, 0 0.5, the y value 2.25. And then the equation of the line of symmetry. So it's the line exactly in the middle, uh, dividing this graph into two equal parts, and that equation will be x, because it's cutting the x-axis, equals 0 0.5. And I just want to show you here, if it's negative, if the value of a is negative, now how does a negative person look? He's not smiling. He's just sitting with a grumpy face. So if it's negative, then the parable will look like this. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 17 number 1. You can con use graph paper, very important. I gave you a hint again but I will explain it to you so that if there's not a hint that you use the graph paper correctly. Um, so stop the video and as soon as you are finished you can continue the video. But I think before we move on to the graph paper, I'm first just going to do number A. So the variables x and y are connected by the equation. Some values of x and the corresponding values of y are given in the table. So it's just a that's missing. So first write down your quadratic equation. And then in the place of x you put 1. And then the negatives in front, so leave it in front, and there's the 1, there is the 4, and there is the negative 7. So the answer will be negative 4. Okay, so end, don't end like this, say so therefore a is equal to negative 4. Okay, now I'm going to go to my graph paper, and I'm going to just copy that table, because I'm going to fill it in there. 
Okay. So let's just first copy that table. Okay, and this is x. No, let's just get the pen. This is x and this is y. And then it was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this was negative 7, negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 7. Okay, you will usually see with a quadratic equation that there's almost like a middle point. How can we say? And there's the middle point, and then the values start repeating. Okay, but now I want to show you the graph paper. So if you look at the graph paper, the x value, so don't like the cross in the middle because there's no negative values, so there's only positive. So you can already make the y and just the x positive values, okay? And it must just go from 0 to 4. And the question said to me, um, use a sheet of graph paper using a scale of 2 centimeter to represent one unit on the x-axis. So rather start here so that you have enough space, okay? So that's the first thing. And then the graph was also looking like this. But now, look at my y values. It's just negative. That means you need no positive, just negative. So if I'm going to draw that graph, and that's why the graph was like this and like this. So positive x, but negative y. And that's why I draw the line like this. I will now look at the scales again. I think if we do it now, like this, it's going to work. Because one is just negative and the other one is just positive. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to start and I'm going to say this is zero. Now I must just look. They said every two centimeters, and I just call it two centimeters to represent one on the x-axis. So this is going to be one. Then I'm just going to make it a bit bigger and I just see the lines very nice. This is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. I think it's already enough. Okay, so it's only up to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. But it doesn't matter if you make, but you must at least go to 4. Okay, and then the y-axis, 1 centi to represent 1 unit. Okay, so in this case, every centimeter... So this is going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, it's just a bit higher there, negative 7, negative 8. And it was only, yes, I think negative 8 will be enough. Okay, now I'm going to start, and I can make it smaller again with my, okay, I can maybe just say, this is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. Okay. Now I'm going to start with the plotting. So in this case, and I can take a bright color, 0 and negative 7. So 0 and negative 7, there. 1 and negative 4, 1 and negative 4. 2 and negative 3, 2 and negative 3, 3 and negative 4, 3 and negative 4. negative 7. Uh, 
Okay, and now, and I think I'm going to make it a bit bigger for the drawing to help me a little bit. And now I'm just going to take my ruler. Okay, I just want to do this one over. It's actually one smooth curve, but if you, usually if you stop on the point, then it's almost like you cannot see that you stopped. Okay, okay. It's a bit difficult with my pen, but move your graph paper, it, it usually helps. And then just write your equation down. What was your equation? It was negative x squared plus 4x minus 7. Just get in the habit to do that because sometimes there's more than one graph on one graph paper and then it just help if you identify each one. Okay. So and then I, now I can start with the questions. Use your graph to find the value of y when x, so go to the x-axis, x is 2.5. So let's just move it down. When x is 2.5. It's almost like in the middle there. Okay, so I'm going to again just write it here at the side so that I can do everything here. So let's start. That was now number C. And the first one, I'm just going to first mark it, otherwise later on. Okay, second one. Third one. Um, up to the fourth one. So the, it will be, in this case, because I'm going to, so it's going to be y equals, and it was negative 3, and remember, one small block is 0 0.2. So I will say negative 3.2, negative 3.3. So it looks like mine is negative 3.3. Remember, it's not exact. So if you say get negative 3.2, you can also be correct. They usually look on your graph and see on your graph, is it making sense? Okay, or is, is the value correct? But you must be in a range. Otherwise, if you're too far out, you're not going to get your marks. The next one, the value of x when y is negative four, when y is negative four, and now I just have to draw to the graph, so when y is negative 4, and I draw it there, so that's a nice one. So I'm going to say there for x, ooh, let's just get the pen x is equal, and it's so exact, it's a nice one, or x is equal to, what was that, this for? 3. Okay, and then the next one, what is the next question? The coordinates of the maximum point, now remember, if the value of a in front of the x squared is negative, it will always have a maximum point. When it's positive, it will have a minimum point. In this case, maximum, because it, it it, this is the maximum point. It cannot reach further. It can reach down to infinity, but it cannot reach further than this maximum point. Okay, so what is that point? And this is so nice. It's also a nice point. So it's 2 and negative 3. That is the maximum point. 
And then the next one, the last one, uh, the equation of the line of symmetry. Now remember, this is the line of symmetry there. And it's going to cut the x-axis and where at 2. So x is equal to 2. And that is the final. Not difficult, but practice as many as possible because it's a, you can score a lot of marks by doing graphs correctly.